Hey everybody, this is Cruise Man. I just wanted to give you a quick update on all the stuff I'm doing uh, over the next couple of days. As you can see, I'm out here in the garage. Um, not sure if you can see all this stuff, but I've been tearing apart the uh, 2018 Goldwing, installing a bunch of different accessories, and I just thought you might want a little behind the scenes, uh, kind of what goes on, you know, doing these videos and doing these installations. I work in my own garage here at the house, I want to show that you can do these things uh, in your own garage with pretty much simple tools. And I always try to show you what tools are necessary. So I'm going to walk around here and show you some of the equipment and what we have set up and and just uh, kind of how we do all this stuff. Right now I'm installing the XM antenna. Uh, next I'll be installing the Homelink uh, garage door opener. And then a couple other little things, uh, little surprises. We'll do some videos for CycleMax.com. Okay, well, first here you can see the bike. It's kind of torn apart right now. Um, I've got my one of my Panasonic HD video cameras here. It's on a slider rig on a tripod. Uh, this little slider I kind of made myself, and it just allows me to get some pretty cool slider shots. So I'm actually going to be replacing this in the near future. And then over here I've got my other uh, high-def camera and video camera. I do some. It's a, it's a Panasonic also. And it, it'll shoot 4K video, even though I don't use 4K. Um, of course, then I've got some lighting. I have three of these Draycast um, <clears throat> LED lights. And then I also have another uh, kind of a softbox light that I use sometimes. On this particular job, I'm only using the LED because it's small enough that I can get into some tight places. I also have a little handheld LED I use sometimes just to get into some tight places. And uh, as you can see, this, the bike is uh, very dark. There's a lot of dark spots with a lot of dark fasteners. Sometimes I actually use my cell phone uh, to get into a tight place to get some shots. Now, if we look around here, this is where I kind of store everything. I've got this little ledge or landing in my garage carpeted. So it's soft and it won't hurt any of the parts. And I lay everything out. You'll notice I have all of the fasteners in bowls right next to the part that they came off of. Kind of helps me keep track of everything. Whenever possible, I'll try to put the fasteners, you know, right back in the place they go. Like here, I've got the two screws that go on those little plastic wind guards. Um, here's all of the fasteners that go uh, for the side covers. And we've got the mirrors over here, the... There's all the fasteners and parts that go for the windshield. So that's just kind of how I organize everything and keeps it easier for me. But anyway, that you know, basically I'm in the middle of a shoot. This is kind of what it looks like. It's a little more difficult when you have to work around cords and lights and tripods and cameras. And sometimes I have to reinstall things two or three times and take them back apart just because I didn't get the right shot or the lighting wasn't right. So, for example, to install this XM antenna, which is right up here, it took me about seven hours yesterday just to install the XM antenna and get all the shots and video I needed for my ultimate video. So, anyway, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. We'll be coming out with some new ones very quickly, and uh, i got to get back to work.